Hello. Welcome to Shade of Jade. I'm Jade. And if you're like, who is this ghostly, gross looking girl? This is me without makeup. I did do my lashes, however, with the Anastasia. Um, I'm just here today and I'm going to do uh, use some of the products that we got uh, from the last haul that I did post. That was my very first video. This is video number two. So please, please, please like, subscribe, leave constructive criticism, and I hope you enjoy, okay? So first we're going to start out with the um, vitamin C that I got from the Inky List. And I'm sorry that the words are backwards on this screen. I am trying to figure out how to fix that, and hopefully I'll figure it out before I post this, so if it's not, then... I figured it out prior. No promises, though. If it is backwards, I'll figure it out for the next video. Okay. So I have been using this serum. I do feel like it is a brightening. And, I mean, I like it. It's good for your face. Next, for moisturizer, I will be going in with this Glow Screen by Super Goop. It is SPF of 40, which doesn't look like I need. I've been trying to wait until the sun came out to record this, but apparently Michigan weather is not agreeing with me. I like to put that down my neck too, any kind of moisturizer to hopefully prevent future wrinkles. Alrighty. And I... I did say I'm going to use some because I have two primers, the Tarte primer that's poreless, and it. Um, I also have this new Tatcha. I have been using the Tarte. I really have been enjoying it, but I have not used the Tatcha yet. So I will be going in with this Tatcha Liquid Silk Primer that I've been hearing wonderful things about, and if it comes out of the bottle... There we go. I'm hoping to like this. If I seem inexperienced, it's because, first of all, I'm not a makeup artist. Second of all, I am an experienced, even on YouTube. This is just my second video. So even if I'm not 100% entertaining yet, Please like and subscribe and press the notification button because I hopefully more of my personality will come out within time. So I do like that. It feels very moisturizing. It does feel more moisturizing than that Tarte primer. Um, but what I really liked about the Tarte is it did fill in a lot of my pores. This does does seem to but the question is is it gonna stay that way so I like to keep that on for a little bit before putting on my foundation I'm not gonna tell you guys what foundation I'm using just because I do have another video coming up pretty soon here hopefully next week um, telling you my favorite Sephora products of all time. I know a lot of Sephora stuff. That's not the only ideas I have. I do have other ideas. However, the VIB sale is coming up. I believe, uh, yeah, November 1st, I know it is. If you're a Rouge member, you get 20% off and then it goes on from there. I'll have more information on that in my next video. But, so I want to save these products for that video so you guys can know what I use as my base face, what's my favorite thing, etc. I just, I mix it up on my sponge usually and then I put it on my face and then I'll just blend it all in. And if it's not my exact color and that irks you, I apologize. Like I said, I am not a makeup artist, but with Sephora's sale coming up, I thought, well, 
I bought some things from Sephora. I love Sephora. I am a Rouge member from them. So let me start these first videos using Sephora. Already doing these videos, I know um, I'm going to need to buy some hair clips if I'm going to do my makeup. So yeah, like I said, my eyebrows were already done prior because I am not going to attempt that. That is, that is some professional stuff. <laughs> A lot of makeup artists I watch anyways don't usually do their eyebrows on video, praise Jesus, because it takes me a minute to figure out, to get it all good, because like, they're not twin sisters they're definitely in the cousin category so this is my base face which I will share with you in the next video next I will be going in with the Lanacombe Tiente Del Ultra Wear All Over Concealer and I have been using this for a few days as well and I do like it a lot but in my next video, I'll be sharing with you my very, very favorite concealer that's from Sephora that I would recommend. Not that this isn't good. This is excellent as well. But I do it does not beat my favorite on my skin anyways. Cover up them dark circles as much as possible. And like you guys, if you guys watched the first video, I don't have any new eyeshadows. So I am going to be going in with this Merit. It's a blush. It's a cream, uh, cream blush. It's, it's called Cheeky. Cheek color. And it's by Merit, like I said. And I'll be putting this first on my cheeks, but then on my eyes as well as a eyeshadow but before I do that I'm going to be going in with my mini NARS Laguna that I just received for my birthday which was September 14th as a birthday gift ground up Let's go right here where my contour line is. And I have a really tiny forehead. So I don't really put a lot on my forehead. My main issue is my double chin. So I put a lot on my neck also to match you know, with my face better. And I make sure to get that really good under the chin. I will put a little, but I will just do usually like one side and the other side, pushing it all the way down close to the ears. I will do the ears also, just a little flicky flick. So I never wear earrings really when I'm doing makeup because I don't like to get powders on them either. Okay. Now I will go in with this mirror. And this is so cute. I hope this is a good color. I know. I don't know how I'm going to apply this. This is my very first time putting it on. So I usually apply my cream blushes with my finger. So hopefully that works. And then I go in with my sponge. Mm. Very natural. Oh yeah, and glowy. I like that. As I get older, I realize that I like more of a natural look. Like, let me put on a pound of makeup, but hopefully it looks natural. I'm silly, what can I say? I feel like that Super Goop moisturizer really did a good job moisturizing my face and making it look, I don't want to say shiny because shiny's bad 
um, glowy. Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'm just going to dab it on my sponge. Let's see if it builds a little bit. I like to put my blush all the way right up there. I'm going to cover it a little bit when I use my powder. And I like it darker at the top for my face. Darker at the top of the cheek right here. I gotta tell you, it's so weird doing my makeup. <laughs> if I seem nervous, it's because I am. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right there. And then I like to kind of, with the residue of it, join. You know, so it looks like that's just my natural cheek, guys. All right, that's pretty. Very natural, very pretty. Love the formula so far. Can't ever say anything definite because, you know, you got to wear it for the whole day, in my opinion, to actually form a good opinion. Next, I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier setting powder that everybody raves about. I finally bought the mini in Honey. And I've been using this also about two days now. And I'm in love, guys. I'm not going to lie. I actually got to put it under my eyes. I'm aging, so, you know, got to stay young looking. And then I always put it over, like, that part that I went up with with my blush. And I'll put it under my contour. And then I'll dab it into the skin. Get it right above my lip because a bitch be sweating right there when she gets nervous, which, you know is right now and my chin this is not only a really good setting powder I mean it just I feel like it really goes into the pores a lot it covers it's like a micro finish it's it's really good there I go how's that look I was watching uh, tutorials, so I was going to get the NARS um, cheek palette for holiday when Sephora comes out with their VIB sale in November, but now I'm torn because Patrick Ta came out with blushes, and they are um, they're cream and powder blushes, and now I don't know which one to get. I wish I could get both. Of, I can. I'm not, like, rich, and I need to get my regular things that I'm in love with that I'll show you next week. So I don't know what to do. If I get more subscribers, let me know. Would you guys rather see the NARS cheek palette for holiday? Or would you rather me get the new Patrick Ta cheek holiday? I mean, I don't think you could go wrong. I'm going to use this merit on my eyes. I'm just going to put it on my crease, actually. See, just simple, simple, natural pop of color. I'm a fan of cream blushes as well. Oh, there goes an eyelash. Getting a fill early next week, and I cannot wait because they're starting to come out. All right. So next... What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Set bronze. Actually, I'm going to go on again with this. I'm going to push it like this. Just make it a little more defined. I'm going to put on this Tower 28. I don't think I said the color. It's called Mix. 
And this is a lip balm. And I've been using this every day. And it's delicious. Oh, did it fall off? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And I just put it on my bottom lip and then I'll take a little uh, hanger and put it on my top. And it is. It's really good. It's a really good gloss. I really love their cream um, blushes as well. Let's see. I'm looking at all the products. Oh, yeah. So this is the Ilia Mascara um, that I received. It's fullest volumizing mascara. I bought this in the haul also. I can't try it on my top. Even though my lashes are coming out, I don't want to ruin the integrity of the lashes that are on. But I will attempt to put them on my lower lashes. I mean, I don't know what you can determine from that, really. <gasps> oh, no! See, that's what I'm trying to avoid. The top one's getting poked. I don't really have... There we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can really tell anything from that. I will have to have my daughter try this, honestly, and then she can tell me her feedback on that. So I'm looking around, looking around. I think I got everything. I'm going to finish off with my setting spray, another favorite that I will be sharing in next week's Sephora favorites. And then, of course, I'll add some earrings in. And this is my finished look with the new, well, new to me, Sephora haul from my first video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so feedback, like I said, I don't think feedback can really be taken seriously until you use these products a few times but I will give you a little feedback this I've been using I think it's gonna be one of my holy grails um, the serum it's vitamin C serum I'm still figuring out if I love it or if it doesn't make a difference we'll see my other favorite standout product is the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder Setting powder, excellent. The Tower 28 is, I mean, it's moisturizing, it's good, but it is a balm. Can you get a cheaper balm somewhere else that works just as well? Yeah, you can. But, you know, I do like it. The concealer by Lancome, I do, I do like it. Do I love it? Will I purchase it again? Probably not. Ilya, I don't know. I have to have my daughter use that. Tatcha. Yeah, it looks like a good primer because it is okay on my nose, but I don't know if it's better than that Tarte Poreless yet, and I will let you know in the future. Um, the cheek, this is very natural, very nice. I would say everyday use, which I was scared because it's so dark. You never know if they're going to come out right or, or like a dark dark or if they're going to, you know, put more of a natural tone on. I think it's very natural and cute. <gasps> Wait. I forgot the highlight. And I can't open it. I was going to use this. Say highlighter. I think that's how you say it. It's S-A-I-E. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot. So I'm going to put it on my finger. It's really liquidy. I'm kind of scared. The other highlighter I received was the Milk Makeup Chalk, which you could use on your eyes, on your cheeks, basically anywhere you want to put a highlight. This is very natural. I guess it goes well with today's natural look. Like that tickle a little bit. 
And that's a very, does it dry? Um, okay, so first impressions of that is super duper natural. When I do a highlight, I like it to be a little bit more of a pop or extreme. So it, it's a, it, it seems like a good consistency, a good highlighter if you love totally natural. Um, I'll let you guys know in a future video, okay? So I know there was a lot of hiccups. I know I'm not the best at putting my words out yet but I do appreciate if you give me a chance and and if you try to continue with me and hopefully I get better at this YouTube thing I'm really excited about it it is a lot of fun I love you guys whoever watches I love you guys please please like please subscribe please put on your notifications and continue with me take a chance on a girl okay I love you guys so much thank you for watching God bless you Bye.